Hello, I'm Jamie from Shamrock Grow World, and today I'm going to show you how you can grow pomegranates from seeds. Pomegranates are round, leathery skinned fruits that are easy to grow from seeds, and the trees can grow in U.S. hardiness zones 8 through 11 and in arid and warm regions of the world. But before we start, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to see more videos about exotic fruits and how to grow them from seeds. First, you'll collect the seeds from the fresh fruit. You can cut the fruit open like a blooming onion by cutting a square on the fruit's top. Then you'll cut along the white membranes and skin of the fruit. Cut deep enough to get through the skin, but not to cut the areoles or seeds. Open the fruit and spread the slices of the skin. Then you can brush or break the areoles off the white membrane with your fingers or a butter knife. You can juice the fruit by putting the areoles in a plastic bag, mashing the areoles, and pour out the juice by cutting the corner of the bag. Don't press too hard on the seeds while doing this. You'll need to remove any remaining flesh and juice from the seeds. You can take the crushed areoles and rub the seeds in a dry washcloth. You can also put the seeds in water and rinse out the flesh and juice. You can use a small colander or sieve to hold the seeds while removing the flesh. If you happen to have dried seeds, soak them in water for a few hours or overnight until the seeds sink to the bottom. Pomegranate seeds can sprout whether they are fresh or dried. Dried seeds may take a little longer to germinate. In this video, the seeds came straight from the fresh fruit. Next, you can sow the seeds. Choose a medium-sized container with well-draining soil such as peat moss, seed starter mix, or potting soil. Spread the seeds out evenly in the soil. There's no orientation for these seeds, so you can simply sprinkle them on the top of the soil. Cover the seeds with one inch of soil and lightly water the soil. Put the container in a warm location, such as a south-facing window, a greenhouse, or on a plant heating pad. I put my seeds in a winter greenhouse and on top of a table. You'd also cover the container in a plastic bag or covering if you're using a seed starter tray. It's best to start the seeds in the spring or summer, but you can start them at any time of the year as long as the seeds and seedlings are kept warm and have enough sunlight. Now you can wait for growth. The pomegranate seedlings will sprout within four to eight weeks. During that time, make sure that the soil doesn't dry out. Water the soil often and don't let it get too soggy. Keep the container warm until the seedlings emerge from the soil. When the seedlings emerge and form a few sets of leaves, you can slowly introduce them to indirect sunlight. Make sure that it's not intense heat or sunlight and keep the soil watered. As you care for the seedlings, slowly expose them to more sunlight as they grow taller. If you have a medium depth or shallow container, you can transplant the seedlings into deeper containers. For example, I transplanted my seedlings when they were about three and a half months old. After that point, you can give the seedlings some general fertilizer, such as citrus fertilizer. Put the seedlings in partial shade if they show any signs of distress and make sure to water the seeds often. If you live in an area with cold winters, the seedlings will drop their leaves and may go dormant during the winter months. Water the seedlings every once in a while and protect the young plants from freezing weather. You can also continue to grow the seedlings indoors or in a winter greenhouse like I did. At first, the seedlings dropped their leaves, but after about a month in the greenhouse, the leaves grew back. I don't know if it's bad for them not to go dormant, but I wanted to keep the seedlings alive during the winter. I will transplant the seedlings once they're back outside in spring 2021, and after they recover from a Texas statewide hard freeze event that we had in mid-February. If the seedlings get large enough, I will let them go dormant in fall 2021 and protect them from freezes. In general, pomegranate trees grow in tropical and subtropical areas of the world, such as the Mediterranean countries, India, Central America, and North America. You can plant the mature tree in full sun and in various soil types as long as it's well draining. 
They are also drought tolerant and can thrive in arid conditions. The trees do not like high humidity. Pomegranate trees are self-fertile, but will benefit from having multiple trees around for cross-pollination. The fruit will ripen in warm months between July and September. The fruit is ripe when it has a hollow metallic sound when it's tapped. The fruit can also split open due to inconsistent or sudden water intake. The fruit must be harvested as soon as possible to avoid fruit rot and insects. Pomegranate trees grown from seed may not produce fruit identical to the original fruit compared to propagation from a soft or hardwood cutting, grafting, or air layering. It may also take five to seven years or more for the tree to bear fruit. But in the meantime, you'll have a nice bushy tree that you can add in a landscape or in your backyard. Pomegranate trees are easy to grow from seed and after many years of proper pruning and care, your pomegranate tree may flower and bear fruit. I plan to make a follow-up video of the pomegranate seedlings from winter to fall 2021 as they grow through their first year into their second year. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell for more videos about exotic fruits, growing exotic fruits, gardening, outdoor crafts, and more. Thank you.